Hello, in this brief video we will walk through the steps of creating overrides in an E-Class quiz. A typical E-Class quiz will have certain settings in place, imposing rules on how students can take the quiz. This includes the time period in which the quiz opens and closes, how many attempts are allowed, as well as a time limit for how long students are able to take the quiz. The purpose of an override is to create an exception to that rule, either for an individual student or for a group of students. In order to begin the process of creating an override, navigate into the relevant quiz and then click the gear menu. You will have two options, group overrides and user overrides. To begin, we will start with user overrides. This is the option you should choose to create an override for an individual student. In the User Override page, start by clicking Add User Override. In the form that appears, start by selecting the student that should receive the override. You will also see the standard time settings that have already been entered for the quiz. For the purpose of the override, all you have to do is modify the settings as needed. For example, you could change the opening date on the quiz to let the student take it early. Or you could change the closing date on the quiz to grant an extension. In the case of students with testing accommodations, you can change the time limit to grant them extended time. You can also change the number of attempts allowed in order to grant the student an extra attempt. Lastly, if you wish to implement some security measures for this student's attempt, you can enter in a password that they will be required to enter before they can attempt the quiz. After modifying the quiz settings as needed, then click Save. The student's name will then appear on the override list with all the settings that were modified for them. From the action menu on this list, you can then either modify the override if needed, duplicate it if you need the same settings for another student, or delete it if the student no longer needs an override. Next, let's walk through the steps of creating a group override. From the Group Overrides page, click Add Group Override. Similar to the User Overrides page, you begin by selecting which E-Class group will receive the override. Afterwards, change the settings as needed and then press Save. Group Overrides are particularly useful if you have different groups of students that will be rotating through the quiz at different times. In this example, I have sections 1, 2, and 3 of the course taking the quiz at different times. Section 1 on Tuesday, Section 2 on Wednesday, and Section 3 on Thursday. 